This video is brought to you by Coursera. Explore more about cybersecurity using Coursera's free career guide and find top programs from Google, Microsoft, IBM, and more that you can try their seven day free trial with. More on this in a few moments. A few weeks ago, I published a video talking about the dilemma of entry level cybersecurity careers. They can be quite challenging to land and there are a lot of difficulties and barriers to entry. If you browse the comment section in that video or our cybersecurity subreddit, you'll often find students and individuals talking about their testimonials with getting into cybersecurity and how hard it can be. Especially in this market right now with layoffs and just the economic climate, it can be quite challenging. So in response to that video, I thought I would create a follow-up video talking about some strategies that you can use to land an entry-level cybersecurity career. Now, I am by no means an expert, but I do want to share some of the strategies that I've received and learned along the way. And uh, well, I'm gonna be dividing this video into technical skills as well as workplace skills. And then finally, going to be sharing a resource which I think has been helping students here within the last few months. Starting off with technical skills, I often talk about a layered approach here, and this is kind of what I would do if going back and pursuing cybersecurity. So starting out with the IT fundamentals. If you follow me on this channel for some time, you will know that I often talk about the fundamentals of IT and how important imperative they are. The reason why security practitioners must understand and know the underlying protocol, technology, standard, or concept uh, used in order to apply a proper security strategy to, I guess, secure those particular assets. So what do the IT fundamentals mean? Well, it can mean a lot of things. In my opinion, I recommend looking into learning the basics of computer hardware, networking, TCP IP stack, the OSI model, uh, and file system memory management and the basics of the Windows and Linux kernel. So the next layer is computer networking, which in my opinion, cybersecurity is rooted in computer networking, ensuring that you have a solid understanding of the TCP IP or OSI model uh, and popular protocols and how they work, even from a high level, can be greatly beneficial to you uh, when you approach cybersecurity and start learning the security fundamentals. Computer networking will allow you to understand how data is transmissioned over the internet and how you can apply proper security measures to secure that data. The next layer is cybersecurity foundations, basically acquiring an understanding of the cybersecurity environment, the tools offered, and the basic attacks and defenses offered within this industry. Having a familiarity of the basics of cybersecurity can really help you grow into a certain position once you decide what that may be. The next section is workplace skills. So in my entry level career dilemma video, I talked about some strategies that you can use to perhaps increase your chances. And communications or workplace skills are as important as your technical skills. In my opinion, technical skills training comes with self-study and then it also comes with the job. Uh, workplace skills are something that can be developed and perhaps a little bit difficult to practice uh, because, well, you need to be working with people. So in my opinion, here are some general strategies that you can use to build your workplace skills. The first one is building a portfolio. And now this is pretty nebulous. This can mean a lot of different things. Uh, but in my opinion, showcase your project work. This can be university projects, white papers, or research papers from university, maybe some home lab exercises you've done within your virtualized lab. It can be really anything. Building a portfolio displays your aptitude and your dedication to self-study and uh, to really learn. And this demonstrates that you have hard work and potential. The next strategy is to join clubs, meetups, or your local conference chapter. Uh, so my biggest regret at university while pursuing a security degree was not joining my local university cyber defense club or CCDC. Uh, so meeting new people and being an active participant in a community of people can be really encouraging and provide fellowship for you as an individual, regardless of where you're at within your career. If you go in with an open mind, and you don't have an agenda, you may be able to develop some good professional relationships and you may be able to find a job opportunity eventually. Uh, but just be an active participant, be helpful, 
and uh, share within these communities. It can be quite beneficial. So I've talked about some technical and workplace skill strategies. Now, where can you actually learn these? There are a lot of different learning resources provided out there and it can be quite hard to determine which one to look at. One resource I highly recommend is Coursera, specifically their certificate programs. Now, full transparency, this video has been sponsored by Coursera, which is the platform hosting several of these quality cybersecurity certificate programs. Coursera offers access to thousands of courses for free and affordable prices, and you can learn a lot of different skills. Specifically within the cybersecurity realm, there are several different certificate programs taught by various top industry providers. Now, I have not completed all of these certificate programs before. I do recommend exploring Coursera's cybersecurity career guide and learning more about the providers such as Google, Microsoft, and IBM, which teach these certificate programs. And you can sign up for their subsequent seven-day free trial. Many of the certificate programs on Coursera offer a structure learning environment where you can learn and acquire the various technical skills and workplace skills I outlined before uh, and really venture into the cybersecurity industry. Coursera hosts certificate programs from some of the top universities and companies such as the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate, and the IBM Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate. Now, each of these certificates provides a balance between developing your technical skills while also providing advice on how you can develop those workplace skills, which are equally as important when you're getting into this career field. Take the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate here on Coursera in front of me. Hundreds of thousands of students have enrolled since its launch earlier this year as a 4.9 out of five star rating. This certificate program specifically focuses on a complete beginner's mindset and exposes you to a lot of different tools, technologies, and core skills to help you get started in cybersecurity. This certificate program is divided into eight total modules or courses here, and each of these specifically focuses on a set of skills uh, that are necessary to getting started in this industry. So starting with the foundations of cybersecurity, we would quickly move into all of the topics that I've talked about here previously, including uh, network and network security, learning Linux and SQL, learning about the different attacks. Uh, and each of these curriculums focuses on a specific set of skills with a hands-on practical approach. So as you can tell from the page here, many students have reported positive career outcomes due to taking the certificate programs on Coursera, specifically here with the Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. After finishing the certificate program, you can upload the certificate to LinkedIn with a LinkedIn badge, as well as put this onto your resume. And what's really cool about this certificate program in particular is that you get access to interview preparation, uh, such as resume review, learning how to write nice resumes, going through mock interviews, as well as just general career support uh, and going through Coursera's specific job listings and search guide for this particular program. You can explore Coursera's free cybersecurity career guide and learn more about the top cybersecurity certificate programs taught on Coursera by top universities and companies and sign up for the seven day free trial to learn more about those certificate programs in particular. So entry level cybersecurity careers can be difficult to achieve. And ultimately, you have to continue to persist and adapt to the process. Uh, using some of these strategies, perhaps you can increase your chances of landing your first role in cybersecurity. Uh, and hopefully you found this video somewhat useful. And uh, yeah, until the next video, have a good day.